there is a fine line, and it's very stressful fine line because you know you're taking a, you know a real man who's a hero, and then you're sort of like doing this fictionalized take on true events, and you want to find a way to honor the man, but also the movie. So I think that was like uh, an interesting challenge. It was great. It was, I mean, again, it was like a bit of a, it was a bit stressful for me because I, I didn't want to uh, dishonor their memory of him. And I didn't, you know, so when they came to said and sort of gave us their blessing and shared all these stories about him, it was like a kind of a relief, you know, and very helpful at the same time getting to know him, you know. I mean, he told a lot of personal stuff, which I won't share, but like just in terms of like de physical details and stuff, you know, I thought, one thing was interesting, which was that he, uh, he like, w they never, they not, they neither one of them had a memory of him without a cigarette, and that he was like constantly ashing into the cuff of his pants so that he wouldn't ash anywhere around him. So at the end of the day, there was this like emptying process from the cuffs of all the ashes, and they they just talked about that and things like that, which I thought were interesting. The stuff that she made for us was the best. I mean, I don't think that, like, you know, she's, like, Academy Award winning costume designer. She works with the Coen brothers. I'm not sure that everybody in the 50s or 40s was wearing suits just like that, you know. Um, she uh, She's the best. But, I yeah, we loved it. I think all of us did. And I think in some way it was, like, a uh, the ritual of putting it all on in the morning. And there's, like, kind of a lot to it that sort of helped you get your head in the game. I think it was fun for us. I don't know if it was fun for Ruben or for anyone else that had to kind of wrangle the, 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 this madness, you know. And I, it's a real feat in editing, this movie, that they managed to cut anything serious out of what we did. You're constantly getting like, like a gun, you know, like riding up your leg, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know if that's fun, but it is what it is. Ruben's the greatest too. I mean, I loved Zombieland, and I think like his approach to the movie was so interesting because he was a history major in school, and he came from he like had a very academic approach to the historical like content in the film, and yet at the same time he was taking such liberties with it, and 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 like uh, you know uh, adding this sort of like comic book quality to those events. So I think those two aspects of his personality make for like an interesting stamp on the genre. They did such a great job, and you know I've been living in LA since I was 16, so you're always kind of like haunted by the ghost of that time, and sort of imagining, you know, if you kind of you can almost see what it was like, and then to have them kind of resurrect it in such a like a a, a beautiful way. You know, there was I remember the opening scene in the movie is like a 10 minute take, and you're just like walking down the street and all the period cars and people in the clothes and the dialect and the music and then I walked into Slapsy Maxis and it's like an active club and people are having dinner and Carmen Miranda's on stage and it was just like I guess um, pretty surreal at a certain point. <laughs>